Hello, pedestrians. I'm McGarren Flack, and welcome to my studio. It's a little echoey, but it's a pretty big space. What we're going to talk about today is perspective. More specifically, one and two point perspective. I'll go over the rules and laws with you. Also, I'll have an example to show you how it's done and works. And then I'm going to demonstrate how to draw a two point perspective scene at the end of this video. Well, not the end of this video, but somewhere in this video. Either way, the box. This is my Vanna White. It is my box that's going to show you the difference between one and two point perspective. So let's get on with the first easy stuff. One point perspective. If you're looking at the flat portion of a box, there's a flat plane, it's called a plane, flat portion of the box, then you're looking at a one point perspective. The rule is all vertical lines are completely vertical and all horizontal lines are completely horizontal, except for the lines that go back into space to the vanishing point. So I have a horizon line here, drawn in, you see that? Okay. The horizon line is where our eye is looking at objects. So if I have this box at the horizon line and it's at one point perspective, which this box currently is, you can tell because all the vertical lines are vertical and all the horizontal lines are horizontal. Beep, 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 beep. Pretty good. Now, if I shift it down below the horizon line, you can now see the top of the box and that these lines eventually go and disappear somewhere on the horizon line, like behind my head somewhere. So those lines are the ones that vanish. This is completely horizontal, this is completely horizontal, and these guys are completely vertical. If I lift it above the horizon line, you can now see the under part of the box, same thing. If I shift it off to the right, you'll see the left side of this box, not the right, the left side. And if I shift it off to the left, I will see the right side of this box. See, the right side. These lines go to the vanishing point. These are all vertical. These are all horizontal. Got it? That's one point perspective. Two point perspective. Gets a little bit trickier. This is what happens. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, that just happened. Okay, you're looking at a corner. Whenever you look at a corner of an object, that means it's at least two point perspective. Could be three point. Maybe we'll get into that later. But this is two point perspective because I'm looking at a corner where two planes come together and hit each other. So you're looking at a corner of a bedroom, corner of a box, it's most likely two point perspective. Now the rules, all vertical lines are completely vertical in two point perspective. Every other line goes to one of the two vanishing points. Here's my example, have the box. You're looking at a corner, it's completely vertical, same with the edges, these other corners, completely vertical. All of the lines that describe the depth of this plane go off to the right. All of the lines, the top and the bottom of this box that go off to the left side eventually go to the left vanishing point. So you can see that this distance is smaller than that distance. All vertical lines are completely vertical. Every other line goes to one of the two vanishing points. Here's an example below the horizon. Look at that, fancy. And above the horizon, we can look underneath it. If I shift a two point perspective off to the side, you can see that you'll see more of this left side of the box than the right side. And if I shift it off to the left side, you can see there's less of the left side and more of the right side that we're seeing because of that shift. If I put it right in the middle, you're gonna see a good division 50-50 on both sides. I hope that clears it up. The difference between one and two point perspective. So what is this? Yeah, I didn't hear you. It should be one point perspective. And what is this? Two point perspective. Good work. Pretty simple stuff, right? Now I'm gonna demonstrate how to draw a two point perspective scene with a bunch of lines. I hope you enjoy it. And please leave some feedback down below. I love hearing feedback, good, bad, whatever. Just give me something. Okay, enjoy the video.